Dinosaurs left their tracks on this riverbank 100 million years ago. Did humans walk here at the same time? Next, a man who claims these prints are proof that humans lived with the dinosaurs. Ever since dinosaurs were first discovered in the 18th century, they've fascinated people of all ages. The Tyrannosaurus rex stood over 30 feet in height. He's considered the most ferocious predator ever to walk the earth. A brontosaurus grew to the length of three city buses. He weighed more than 90 tons. The reign of the dinosaur ended, according to one theory, when a giant meteor crashed into the earth with the force of thousands of hydrogen bombs. A cloud of dust was raised, which blocked the sun for years. This marked the end of the dinosaurs. According to conventional scientific theory, no human beings were alive then to witness these events. Or were they? Over a hundred million years ago, the limestone bedrock of the Paluxy River in Texas was a muddy plain. It was here that countless dinosaurs left their footprints to be fossilized and preserved forever. But the tracks of another creature have also been preserved in these banks, possibly the tracks of man. Archaeologist Carl Bau has led the investigation of these controversial prints for over 12 years. My reaction was one of shock. I had heard of human footprints being found in this locale uh, on the Paluxy near Glen Rose, Texas, but I was rather skeptical. And uh, here, after removing actual rock layers, the team and I excavated a series of dinosaur footprints. And 18 and one half inches from one of those dinosaur footprints, we excavated a 16 inch human footprint. We excavated 12 footprints in a series. And when you find a trail with left, right, left, right pace and stride, the right distance apart, then you have to interpret this as belonging to uh, humankind. It's been claimed that the Paluxy River footprints are a hoax carved into the limestone bedrock as a tourist attraction. Well, we found trails leading under limestone ledges and actually removed the limestone ledges one slab of rock at a time. And we found that both the dinosaur footprints and the trail of human footprints continued under the rock ledges. This evidence is real. Today, many of the so-called human prints have fallen victim to erosion and the hands of vandals. But Carl Bau is in possession of one of the most compelling prints ever found. What you were about to see is the most controversial artifact in his collection. I first saw the Burdick print on my initial visit to Glen Rose in 1984. My impression at that time was that it was too perfect. But it's clearly a human footprint demonstrating the heel section, the arch, the base of the metatarsals, the first or great toe, second, third, fourth, and fifth toe. After our examination of this print, we find that it definitely is in the Cretaceous uh, limestone, in the same formation with the dinosaur footprints. Here we're looking at a cross section, and we can see very obvious following contours under the great toe, and actually structures under each one where we see the calcite inclusion, the force was concentrated and produced these load-bearing structures, which are exactly what geologists look for. We have eliminated uh, the idea that it's carved. It definitely is original impression in the sediment. This is said to be the fossilized finger of a human being. It too was reportedly found in the same strata as the dinosaur tracks, dating to over a hundred million years old. It had what appeared to be a nail, what appeared to be a cuticle, a taper, a humanoid shape. After I saw the CAT scan, there was no longer any room in my mind for doubt. This scan shows the shape of the finger. It shows tissue beneath the skin of the finger. It shows the bone. It shows the joints. It shows a ligament. That tells me this is a human finger. The limestone layer that preserved these artifacts is reportedly dated at around 135 million years old. 
Yet, as we saw earlier, objects have been found in rock strata much older than this. In Klerkstorp, South Africa, hundreds of metallic spheres were found by miners in Precambrian strata, said to be a fantastic 2.8 billion years old. The controversy centers around the fine grooves encircling some of the spheres. Lab technicians were at a loss to explain how they could have been formed by any known natural process. According to the curator of the Klerksdorp Museum, Rolf Mars, these spheres are a complete mystery. They look man-made, yet at the time in Earth's history when they came to rest in this rock, no intelligent life existed. They're like nothing I've ever seen before. Author researcher David Hatcher Childress has written numerous articles on the coexistence of humans and dinosaurs. I think that one of the solutions to the paradox of dinosaurs and people together and the vast discrepancy in time, this, the whole timeline of, of millions of years versus only thousands of years, can be explained in a cataclysmically geological view of the past, where rather than geological events taking place over millions of years, they take place more quickly. And what is a million years on a geological time scale is in fact only, say, a thousand years. And therefore, it's going to bring all this dating much closer to us and make it possible so that, in a scientific way, man and dinosaurs can have existed together in the past. And in fact, dinosaurs can still be alive today in small numbers in remote areas of the world. For instance, in 1977, a Japanese fishing boat off New Zealand brought up out of the water the carcass of what appeared to be a pleliosaur an animal that should have been extinct for millions of years. Although the authenticity of this photograph has never been disproved, skeptics have claimed it's merely the body of a decomposing shark. 